and then it opens very nicely. Cha! What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today's video is super exciting because we are bringing it back to my most popular video on my channel and we are doing an iPhone unboxing. So in 2020, I upgraded my iPhone from the 6S to the 11, and I filmed my unboxing of that iPhone, and that is the most popular video on my channel. So today, my brother is upgrading his iPhone SE. This is the first generation that came out in 2016, but my brother got it in November 2017. You can see his phone case. <laughs> it doesn't even have the pattern anymore. It's so worn out. So similar to me, I got the 6S in 2015, upgraded to the 11 in 2020. Five years for him to have an upgrade from 2017, the iPhone SE first gen, to 2022, the iPhone SE third gen. So we're a family of people who like to keep their iPhones for many, many years and only upgrade when they have completely died. So some reasons why he wanted the iPhone SE third gen versus upgrading to like the iPhone 13. One reason is because he wanted to keep the home button as you can see and when we do the unboxing it has the home button still like you can see with my 11 and there is no home button but you just tap the screen to turn it on and then you swipe up versus having the home button you would tap the button to turn it on. So like you can see the old iPhone has the home button as well so he just preferred the home button very old school. Additionally with the iPhone SE it has the head phone jack still so like for a lot of the newer iPhones similar to the home button it does not have any headphone jack down here but it only has the charger hole so you would have to get the special headphones that has this special connector in order to listen to music or get wireless headphones so like here the old iPhone SE you can see it has the charger hole as well as the headphone jack so that's another reason why he wanted to keep it within the SE family and not go to a 13 that doesn't have the headphone jack and just for general phone upgrades his battery life on the old iPhone SE is literally so bad. I think I talked in my iPhone upgrade video, my 6S, it started to die really, really quickly. I would be walking to class, listening to music, I would start with 100% and it would go to 50% after a 10 minute walk. But his is way worse, literally starting at 100% and it would die in 5 seconds. And finally, some other logistics with the iPhone SE 3rd gen. It's a little bit cheaper than if you were to get like the iPhone 13 mini if you wanted to keep the size small because we'll do a size comparison but the SE is definitely more hand size versus when you're getting into these newer iPhones they are so big they don't really fit in your pockets they are like mini iPads basically so if you're looking for a smaller phone this is a cheaper alternative at around $479 and also this iPhone SE 3rd gen has 5 5G and so my brother is going abroad this year so he wanted 5G to have faster connection times you know <laughs> so now getting into everyone's favorite part let us do the iPhone unboxing I'm actually surprised there wasn't any of the like cling wrap around it I feel like usually you have to pull off the wrap but this is just the box so our dirty fingerprints are getting all over this box so I think we have to pull these tabs on the back in order to open it. So I guess this is the new kind of, instead of the cling wrap, they have these holder tabs. Okay, yep, and then it opens very nicely. Cha! Ah, it's got the new iPhone smell. Like when you get a new book, it has that smell. Yeah, wow. I don't even want to touch it. Like, I don't want to get all of my fingerprints on it. It's just so shiny. Wow. Look at that reflection off of there. So just the black iPhone SE 3rd gen. No funky colors or anything. Take it out of the box. Oh my goodness. Ha. <laughs> That's funny. It has like little instruction kind of things on the cling wrap. Like fingerprint here for the home. 
turning on up here, like sound on this side, so you don't get confused. And then for the rest of the box, it just has like the instruction stuff and then a charging cable. No like charging box like one of these things, so just the cable. And then in the little instruction pack, it has that sticker, instructions, and then the tool that you can take out your SIM card with. <laughs> so now I know this time, last time for my iPhone 11 upgrade, I was roasted in the comments because I was sticking a paper clip into the SIM card hole in order to pop it out to switch my SIM card from the old phone to the new phone. But now I know it comes with this tool, so I won't be sticking a paper clip into my brother's new phone. So how exciting. It's so sleek and clean right now. We are going to pull the wrap off. Off. This is the most satisfying part every time. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, onto the back side. Wow. So similar to my iPhone 11 video, we are going to do some iPhone surgery again and switch the SIM cards out for my brother. Take the old case off of this phone. Oh my god, that is so interesting. Look at the change of shape for this. The old iPhone is like the square shape still, silver, and then this, the new iPhone SE is the more like rounded shape interesting. So here we have our size test. This is the old SE, this is the new SE, and this is my iPhone 11. As you can see, it's progressively larger, so that is one of the reasons he wanted like a smaller phone, more pocket-sized. Even with the case, it is bigger, and I think for these larger phones, you do get used to them. It is a little annoying, like this phone doesn't really fit into your pockets or anything, especially pockets are so small nowadays. Too. Like the 11, I always have to carry something else to put my phone in, but this is definitely more like hand size since it's so much smaller. He definitely needs to get a case because this is so small you can easily just drop it off of your hands. So I'm gonna take the little clippy thing out, ready to perform this surgery. And then I'm gonna stick it into like you have that little hole there that you stick the Clip in and not the paper clip to pop out your SIM card. Got the SIM card out. You really have to press so hard with the clip in order to get it to pop out. That's why like, I don't want to stick it in so hard and then it breaks the new phone. Little SIM card, so small. So here is the iPhone SE homepage, what it comes with. All the regular apps, FaceTime, calendar, photos, camera, mail, notes, reminders, clock, news, TV, podcast, app store, maps, health, wallet, and settings. Surprised it comes with widgets. Uh, <laughs> Cupertino, I guess we're not in California, but it has widgets. And then in the down bar, it has the telephone, internet, messages, and music. We scroll right, weather, find my friends, shortcuts, home, contacts, files, stocks, translate, books, iTunes store, Apple Watch, tips, utilities, pages, numbers, keynote, iMovie, GarageBand clips, and the App Store. So dang, it is so sleek looking, wow. So there we have it, the unboxing and setup for the iPhone SE 3rd gen, upgrading from the 1st gen from 2017, now in 2022, to the new iPhone SE. But but yeah, two years later, this is the next iPhone unboxing that I've done. We really don't get new phones that often, so getting a new phone is always super exciting when the time does come. And yeah, if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. If you found my channel from the old iPhone unboxing or this iPhone unboxing, let me know in the comments. If you have any other videos, that you want to see me do, also leave a comment down below. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. iPhone waves, bye! Mm -hmm.